Jason, the uh, triple double tonight. What did you see that got you into the flow of passing and getting your teammates involved first? Uh, it was real simple. Uh, just making the right play. And we talk about all the time not getting bored with making the right play, um, finding a mismatch, drawing two, and uh, you know, surround yourself with shooters. It seems like being down Jimmy that takes away a defender that could that could switch on to you or, or help on you. So is, is that just the focus of yours where if Miami's overreacting to you to, to get other players involved first? Yeah, and you know, we've played them enough. Um, they're not a team that's necessarily gonna let you play one on one all night. They do a really good job of um, being in and help and showing a crowd. Uh, and you know, they just kinda force you to make the right play. Jason, you uh, took a tough hit from um, Kale there in the final minute. Uh, what was just your viewpoint of that play, and how are you feeling after uh, that collision? Uh, I feel fine. I mean, I didn't see. I, I went to go get the rebound, got knocked out there, fell, uh, you know, and I got right up and went to go shoot some free throws. Jason, first off, congratulations on the triple double. How hard is it for you guys to avoid complacency after such a dominant start? Um, you know, not hard. We understand that uh, it's supposed to be tough, right? That, you know, the playoffs, no game is, is easy. There's no guarantee wins regardless of uh, time and score, how much time is left. Uh, so we know it's a game of runs that they were going to hit some shots and make a run. We just had to respond. Um, and, you know, we did that. Jason, you got right back up after getting hit. Like, was that kind of a message? To, that you weren't hurt, you weren't affected by that? I mean, obviously, as a physical play, you were midair when you got hit. I mean, what, what went into just stepping right back up and then kind of strutting to the free throw line? Uh, just understand it's playoff basketball, right? It's a physical game, playing against a physical team. You know, it's going to happen. Um, it's not the last time I'm probably going to get hit like that or, or fouled in this series. So, um, you know, I wasn't hurt. You know, you, you get hit like that, uh, you know, just get up. And I knew he was in the bonus, so go down there and knock the free throws down. And how are you guys able to kind of withstand their run? They kept, they hung around till midway third quarter, and that's what they do. How were you able to withstand those runs and then kind of make that final blow late third quarter? Uh, just staying poised, right? This is the playoffs. This is a good team. We're not supposed to blow them out. It's not supposed to be easy. Um, no lead is necessarily safe. Uh, and, you know, don't panic in the sense when they're going to run and hit shots. Just uh, continue to, to play the right way. Uh, Jason, going back to making the right play, early second quarter when Sam's hitting those four threes, it seemed like some of your passes triggered some of that movement. What do you just remember on those possessions against the zone uh, that led to those shots from Sam? Yeah, sometimes just being able to not get bored, right? Um, <clears throat> finding the the mismatch that you want, understanding it, they're not going to let you play one-on-one. -on -one. They're going to send a double uh, and, and making the right pass out and, and essentially getting the hockey assist. And we, we kept finding the right man, and he was hot, and uh, she shot it with confidence. Last question. Jason, how important was the second unit tonight? Extremely important. Uh, Sam, the big reason, uh, kind of extended the, the game in that second quarter, right? They cut it to three or four. Um, and Sam hit three or four threes. And uh, you're going to need things like that to be successful in the playoffs. It's not always going to be the, the guys that start the game. You know, any given night, we're going to count on somebody um, off the bench to, to change the pace of the game or, uh, you know, kind of mess things up in a good way uh, and, and change the dynamic of what we're doing. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.